this drone getting a huge update and you're thinking to yourself well okay everyone's listing the features but how the hell does that apply to me like how does 24 frames a second benefit me what is manual exposure like what is this shit about okay great we got an update but <laughs> I have no idea how to use it if that's what you're thinking then this video is definitely for you If you're on a tight budget now with this new update giving you manual exposure you don't have to run out tomorrow morning and upgrade your drone necessarily you can work with this same drone right here and do some pretty incredible stuff with it right let's get started so normally if you wanted to uh, brighten or darken your image you'll just hit the EV button at the bottom there that's highlighted in orange and you'll scroll to the plus to get the image brighter the more plus you go the brighter the image gets until you know it gets too crazy bright and then if you scroll the other way into the minus section well then the image gets dark and let me tell you something if you're comfortable flying and using your drone this way as a hobbyist or a casual flyer go right ahead you don't have to jump into the manual settings and don't feel pressured by any means now if you want to deep dive into these manual settings there's certain things that you must understand at least when it comes to the Mavic Mini so we see that little camera button that says AUTO auto at the bottom right that's an automatic so the camera will automatically um, manage itself for you now when you click that button it switches to manual right providing you did your update and you're of course the latest firmware update and provided you have the latest app if you have a problem getting the latest app delete your app and re-download it back from the Play Store or the uh, iOS Apple Store and that should do the trick anyway back to what we're talking about what just happened there my image looks like whoo what on God's green earth just happened there jump to the ISO that's the first thing right the ISO the lowest number is 100 and basically when you jump the ISO to 3200 that's the highest number and the image gets even brighter so what this ISO does is brighten your image so let's put it on the darkest possible setting and that's 100 so if you want brighter 30 32 3200 is the brightest you want the image as dark as possible you go to 100 now the trick with the ISO is we only usually when we're flying drones go past or use more than 100 ISO if we're flying at night because the place is dark there's not enough light in the surroundings at night and we need more light so this uh, ISO will give you light but it gives you light or it brightens your image I should say I should say at an expense what is the expense your image gets very grainy and as a result we don't want grains and, and little spots and, and white little pointy freckles damaging our image so we tend to want to keep it at 100 whenever we can so I stress again we usually only go above 100 if we're flying at night so that makes things pretty simple if you're flying during the day you're going to use ISO 100 unless you're flying at night got it okay let's move on so now that that's set right because we're flying in the day the next thing that we need to set is our frame rate so if you go in here I'll go to 2.7 because 2.7 if you're filming any kind of professional work um, 2.7 is the best uh, quality image or video that this camera on the DJI Mavic Mini can produce so if you want the best quality and you're going to be flying in manual might as well go to 2.7k with that being said now we're going to go to 24 frames a second can you go to 30 and 25 absolutely but we go to 24 frames a second why because every second 
your DJI Mavic Mini camera is snapping 24 pictures every second if you go to 25 it's snapping 25 pictures every second if you go to 30 FPS it's snapping 30 pictures every second what does that mean it means the more pictures or frames that you can capture every second the more smoother your video will look so one will tend to think okay let's go with 30 frames per second because that's the smoothest it can get or let's go to 1080p which is a lower quality image but we can go up to 60 frames a second and get the smoothest possible quality correct that seems logical however we want the best quality so we will go to 2.7 right and we want 24 frames a second because that's the look that the human eye is used to right as weird as it sounds anytime you go to 60 frames a second things tend to get a little too smooth and looks a little what's the word I'm looking for unrealistic not because it is unrealistic because all of these years of watching television for all of these years our eyes and film and going to the movies our eyes are used to seeing video that is slower frame rate so when our eyes see a frame rate that's a frame rate like 30 or 60 frames a second that's faster because our eyes are not used to that our brain can process it as unnatural looking right so that's just basically one uh, explanation another explanation is the less pictures that you take every second because the video is less smoother it tends to blur or shh or give a kind of a not a smooth kind of a movement but a kind of a a, a a jabby kind of movement a blurry kind of movement that the human eye is accustomed to so basically all that means is Hollywood and big movie productions tend to use this frame rate right or they tend to produce their videos to replicate what this frame rate looks like so if we want to look as professional as possible meaning to kind of replicate that look to the best of our ability we will go at 24 frames a second and just so you know for most people posting stuff on YouTube and stuff like that most people can't even tell the difference between 24 frames a second and 30 frames a second right just so you know I'm just putting that out there but anyway we want to look as realistic and professional as possible so we'll keep it on 24 right now that we have 24 frames a second the next thing that you need to take into consideration is your shutter speed shutter speed should be double your frame rate just having 24 frames a second is not enough to replicate this Hollywood look or this professional look your shutter speed has to be approximately give or take double your frame rate now let's go to our Mavic Mini and let's replicate it our shutter at, at 40 now there is no 40 there is only 40 and then there is 50 so we're gonna go with 50 because that's the most common right you can go with 42 but 50 is closer to 48 than 40 correct so we're gonna go with 50 so now when it comes to manual at 24 frames a second you don't really have much choice except to go and double your shutter speed which is going to be 1 50th you don't have much of a choice because if you change that shutter speed much from from 1 50th then you're going to lose that look that the human eye is accustomed to so for the most part with your DJI Mavic Mini you're going to be at ISO 100 during the day because you don't want it to get brighter at least if you're filming in the day and most of you guys are flying in the day so that's like a set thing 
your shutter speed if you're going for the film look at 24 frames per second your shutter speed is going to be at 150 at most of the time so that's like a standard setting even though you're in manual that's kind of like what you have to set your camera to but there's a problem I'm overexposed according to this here I'm overexposed by plus 2.7 Zero, as you know from flying normally, is zero exposed according to what the camera is measuring. I'm plus 2.7. So I've got a problem because if I switch this to auto, look how beautiful this image looks. But if I switch to the manual or to the professional settings, which is ISO 100, as least light, um, as least bright as I can uh, make this image. 150th and 24 frames a second which is the filmic settings my video looks like trash right now i'm better off let's face it putting this bad boy in auto and flying but if i want the best quality possible i've got to go to this manual so how do i fix this problem with my camera right now well it's very simple it's kind of like the same way you fix the problem when the sun is too bright for you. You put on sunshades and then that restricts the amount of light that's going to go into the camera. Just like this restricts the amount of light that's going to get into your eyes and make the image darker. When the image gets darker, now I will be able to operate at my ISO 100, my shutter speed at 150th, and my frame rate at 24 frames a second. All I need to do now is darken this image and I will get the Hollywood look. Now, if you guys know me, I've had a ton of people reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, and even on YouTube asking me, hey, what filters do you use for the DJI Mavic Mini? If you don't know what filters are, we'll talk about that. But I said, I don't use any filters. And I don't use any filters simply because I've never found myself in this scenario with the DJI Mavic Mini. And I never found myself in this scenario with the DJI Mavic Mini because I could only fly in auto but now that i can fly in manual and go for the hollywood cinema look right with my 24 frames a second and my 150th shutter speed now i need filters to darken this image so that it looks pleasing to the eye because let's face it this looks like trash now problem is i don't have any filters i never even expected dji to release this update i do have filters but that's for more of the professional drone which is my dji mavic 2 pro and i also have filters for my phantom 4 pro which are professional drones which i go through this whole process for when i'm doing professional work but I have never thought about using the DJI Mavic Mini for professional work. With that being said, I will tell you this. Now that the DJI Mavic Mini has manual settings, that also means that this is quite a capable drone for light professional use as well. So this will probably get you started in a professional career working with drones as well. You don't need to run out and spend a ton of money now that the manual settings are here but you might need to run out and buy yourself some filters. Now, filters can run anywhere. I've seen from 20 bucks all the way to about a, a whole pack for like 99 bucks. I do not have filters. I do not intend to go out and buy filters because I'm not looking for anything professional out of it. And honestly, I'm very impressed with just the quality that comes out from the automatic settings on this drone. However, for the purpose of this video i will pull out these uh, filters and kind of like you know not every shades will fit you perfect 
these won't fit the mini perfect and they certainly won't stay on the mini if i were to take off and fly but as long as i stay on the ground just temporarily i can't fly with it because they don't belong to this drone but i did put the filters on my uh over the camera to darken the image now look at the image so I hope you see now why I need filters if I take this filter off of this camera hold on I'll take the filter off and you'll see there you go see that that's the filter I took it off then BAM look at my image look at how horrible it looks right so that's number one the main reason why you will need filters if you want to do any kind of professional work spend the money once and buy good filters and spend the money once and buy a range of filters different filters have different uses but for starters you want the ND filters so, well like an ND4 an ND8 an ND16 and an ND32 and if possible an ND64 spend the money and make sure you have all because the higher the number goes on the filter, the darker the glass. And if it's a really bright day, you might need really dark glass, right? And remember guys, if all else fails, you can always throw all of this out the window. Hit that button to change it from manual to auto and you have yourself a beautiful everyday flight that you can share with your family and friends. You don't have to stress over the manual settings, but I'll tell you what, it's good to know that it's there and the drone is equipped if ever you need it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows that it's a human watching this and that you're not a robot. Hit subscribe if you have not subscribed already and I will catch you guys whenever I can. Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.